Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today we're going to go over the uh, D Merge or the Deep Pixel Merge Node. So before we start, uh, in the past few videos we've been doing Deep Pixel stuff, but we haven't been using true Deep Pixel images. And uh, even though the stuff we've been bringing in works off our Z depth, using true Deep Pixel renders or Deep Pixel EXRs will uh, give you better results. And this is typically what you want to use when you're doing any type of deep image compositing or deep pixel compositing. So we're, we're going to jump over to Blender real quick. And uh, let me resize this so it fits. And basically, I have a uh, little scene here. And uh, I'm just exporting this out as a uh, EXR with deep pixel information. But if you notice, I've got my render engine set to Redshift. And the other day we used Cycles and exported that Z information, which, like I said, works in Deep Pixel, but it's not true Deep Pixel. So within our Redshift renderer, and unfortunately this is not free, uh, but it's the render I use in Blender and in Houdini anytime I'm actually doing production rendering. But if we go into our Redshift renderer and we go to our files and look at our ALV setup, we look down here, our ALV processing, we have enabled deep output. And this is what's actually sending that deep pixel data to our files. So let's jump back into Fusion. So now that we're back in Fusion, let's go ahead and bring in a loader node. And we're going to load our little scene. And for members, I'm going to upload these. So if you guys go to our uh, little community, like uh, posts over there, there'll be a post for all the members to download these two files. So you guys can mess around with them just in case you don't have any uh, deep pixel files. I know somebody was asking for some and where to get them, but uh, I'll supply them so you guys can play with them. And that's for our members only. So we've got our deep pixel data. And if we look up here, you notice this says deep three, two. And the reason is, is because this is actual deep pixel information. And if we go to our loader node, we now have a new image output mode, which gives us a deep image and flat image options. So our deep will pass that deep image. If we select flat, you notice it just switched to float 32 and it's just 2d image passing through. Now, not my typical workflow, but I'm going to bring in a gamut node to lighten this up a little bit um, since I don't want to go through all the coloring stuff for ACES. I'm just going to bring in a gamut node real quick. So if I search for a gamut and bring in a gamut node, you notice it did not connect and it won't connect because uh, this gamut node won't input deep pixel data. So what we need to do is on our scene rough here, we can just change it to a flat image input it into our gamut node and our gamut node. Like I said, this isn't my normal workflow, so don't think I'm wrong here and be posting. <laughs> but, uh, but once we're in our gamut node, we can lighten it up so we can work with it. And, uh, it's float 32. So to bring it back down to the deep, we would use the image to deep node. We went over the other day and this is its true purpose. So now we're back down to deep 32. So we're back in that deep pixel data. And to get our points, we're just going to add a deep points node. And on our deep points node, I'm going to uh, slam that to one. And I happen to know 1.5 is usually where I need uh, my redshift exports the size to be and shut off the analysing. And again, remember to make renderable. Let's go ahead and add a merge node. Let's input our merge node. And if we look, you can see that this is already doing more than our typical 2D stuff with only that Z buffer information coming in. It's actually splitting our uh, little things up in its uh, Z area. Still not correct. So in order to be correct, we need a camera. So we're going to bring in a 3D camera and input it to our deep points. And now we've got our scene in that 3D space.
So there we go. In order to see this in our viewport, we need a render node. So let's switch to render and uh, see what's going on here. And as normal, I'm going to have to uh, make a few adjustments. One, I'm going to change to hardware and uh, it'll work better right there. So software rendering doesn't seem to work right because uh, these deep pixel nodes need your GPU to work correctly. So hardware renderer is the only way you're going to see this correctly. And if you remember the other day, I mentioned that deep pixel on our render node now, and that's what this is for. So if I want to continue to push this deep pixel information down after my renderer, I would select deep. So now if you look at our render, it says deep 32. And if I switch it back to image, it's back down to float 32. So the merge node, what we want to do is we want to bring another asset in to merge in our little uh, scene here like we would do in any other type of compositing. So we're going to go ahead and go to our loader node and we're going to input our little statue. And our statue again is deep pixel information, but it's a little too dark for us to work with right now. So I'm going to copy these, paste them. And if you remember, in order to plug it into our gamma node, we need to go to our loader node and switch this to flat and then input it into our gamma. And then if we look, we're back to deep 32. Now to be able to merge these two together, we're gonna to use the D merge node. So let's search for the D merge and we're gonna bring this in. And what the D merge does is nothing but merges your stuff, but you cannot use a regular merge or a 3D merge or a U merge or any other type of merge. You need this D merge to merge that deep pixel information. So we're going to plug this into our background, our little statue into our foreground, and then plug this into our deep two points. And now if we go look, we have our little statue sitting in there in the middle. And if we look here, our statue is now there. If I disconnect it, it's gone. If I reconnect it, it's there. So in further tutorials or further breakdowns, we will start breaking down other nodes we use in this deep pixel uh, ecosystem. So you can see how we composite and how we bring different stuff into the deep pixel environment to uh, composite deep pixel images. So that is the D merge node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.